Hey guys, what's up? I'm back, and my new package finally came in. This is the Cisco Supplies German Paratrooper Knife. I checked the legality of it before I bought it, and I am sure that it is legal. The first thing you're obviously going to notice that stands out very prominently are the swastikas. Yes, this is a replica of a knife that was supposedly used in Nazi Germany. I'm not racist, this is just how the knife came, so that's just a little disclaimer for you. Now looking at it at first, it's uh, quite long compared to my hand, my, well, my hand wearing workout gloves. You know, but it's actually not that long when you fully open it. Pretty much what you do, you fold up this tab here, and then it unfolds like this. just don't want to cut my hands doing this. So there you go. The blade is now fully unfolded. And as you can see, the blade is still a bit, um, it moves a bit at the top, but that's just due to, um, uh, the design of it. But other than that, it's still a very nice knife. You know, I wouldn't say it's crap. It is, um, quite thin. The blade is quite thin. The steel is stamped aluminum. So this isn't particularly something I'd carry around as EDC. I don't really want to be having a Nazi knife on me carrying it around because if I am stopped by a cop the last thing I want is for me to be charged by that stupid law known as hate crime. So it's got German writing on there. can't exactly uh, read that. I am German. I know a few German words but I don't know that. M76634 SS SS over there, RZ, the swastika, another swastika. Now, ignoring the Nazi symbols, it isn't that ugly of a knife. Um, it has a very rough and tough design, if you ask me. It's something that looks definitely very rugged. But again, this is not something that I would carry around and smash up. Because, even though it says stainless steel, you can see it is, does say made in China. And it probably isn't that durable. This is something more like a novelty item that I bought, much like my last Amazon purchase, my Cisco Supplies Bowie Knife. Both of these are made by Cisco Supplies. Um, now they're, they're quite cheap, so most of the knives I buy from Cisco, these are the first two I've ever bought from them through Amazon. They aren't particularly designed for outdoors use. I didn't buy them for that. I bought them because I wanted them to keep. Like I wanted uh, an extra large bowie knife. I've, I like the size of bowie knives. I think they're quite impressive. And so I decided to get a bowie knife. And then I'm like this is a pretty cool design. I could probably review this. And I got it. And it looks pretty darn cool. You will see a paper test video on this but I'm not going to use it for anything else. It's more like going to go in a probably my safe. You know store it away because it is something pretty cool. I don't want to really smash up and again, I don't want to have it on me in case I'm searched with all the uh, the hateful Nazi symbols on there. Now, just to finish this video, we have uh, the first knife I ever bought from Amazon. This is the PK-383 Tactical Rescue Knife. I did a review on this. It's got a seat belt cutter and window breaker. Assisted opening, not a switchblade. It's not a switchblade. Stupid laws in Canada banning switchblades. The only real difference is, is that this little tab here that helps open it is actually attached to the blade. With a switch blade, the button's incorporated into the handle and there's a whole mechanism working it. So really, it's almost the same knife, but apparently switch blades are banned and assisted opening, which this is, is uh, therefore completely legal. Just a little follow up on the PK-383 Tactical. This is actually holding up really well. It gets a nice blade on it. The Serrations are sharp as ever when sharpened up with a diamond tapering rod. The window breaker I actually tested on a ceramic plate. It shatters it very neatly. The seatbelt cutter, I don't have a seatbelt to try it on and it didn't cut through a rope. But other than that, it's held up really well. The pocket clips held up well. Even the writing on the blade ain't rubbing off yet. So, you know what, if you find yourself on the Amazon, these knives tend to this particular knife, the PK-383 Tactical, I'll leave the name of it down in the description. Um, 
you know, I highly recommend picking one up. The, the price just keeps dropping on Amazon, and I've been carrying it for a bit now as my everyday carry, and it's really holding up well. So, thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to show you my uh, new knife I got. You will be seeing a new knife soon. Uh, I'm also hoping at some point to get a 40 knife storage case also from Cisco Supplies so I can have a place to put all my knives because my collection is just growing. So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. And again, forgive me for the swastikas on and I really have no control that they were there. That's just how it came, the only way it came. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.